scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast, this time covering, well, Philip Hinchcliffe Presents. Philip Hinchcliffe Presents is a two-story box set. Now, for those of you who don't know what on earth I'm talking about, it's a two-story set with the Fourth Doctor and Leela, which isn't part of the standard Fourth Doctor and Leela range. But why not? Philip Hinchcliffe, for those of you who don't know, was basically... The Stephen Moffat of his age. The guiding hand behind some of Doctor Who's greatest stories. Under his guidance, we received the talons of Wen Chiang and a handful of truly, truly great stories. Philip was someone Tom looked up to and if you listen to Tom Baker at 80, which is a fantastic interview CD, you get to hear some very nice things about Philip. Listening to the making of, you also get to hear that there's a very nice relationship between Tom, one of respect, that wasn't always there. Big Finish have got together with Philip and brought out some of his ideas, some of his concepts, and they've been written by Mark Platt. This is a six-disc set, because if you cast your mind back to these sort of stories, Talons of Wenchine is six episodes long, a format that was inherited by Hinchcliffe and was largely abandoned after Talons of Wenchine, in favour of the more easily supportable four-part stories. The Tom Baker range has been two stories, one CD long. The thing that I've been complaining about, the only thing that I've not liked about this amazing Tom Baker range, is that the stories haven't been long enough. Well, here they are, and you know what? we get to experience something simply lovely. A six-part story traditionally used to be something that Terence Dix referred to as a dog leg, where you had the body of a dog and at the end you had something else. Basically, you split the six-part story into two individual stories, usually a four-part story and a six-part. Talons is very much like that, where you've got the theatre business, the disappearance of the girls, and in the last two parts, your primary action is moved over to Wen Chiang's palace. Or whatever you mean, Magnus Grill. Here, something really clever takes place in the first story. Now, the two stories in question are The Ghosts of Grailstead and The Devil's Armada. I'll talk about both of them now because you can't buy them individually. The first story takes place in 1640, decades before Talons of Wenchian, but it's still Victorian London which gives the Doctor and Leela a lovely period setting, the sort of thing that we've always loved with Hinchcliffe. Because, let's face it, when you first come to Big Finish, you kind of want more of what you've loved, but slightly different. And that's what you're going to get with this story. It is the one closest to Talons of Wen Chiang, an external influence affecting Victorian society. But that's kind of where the similarity ends. Obviously, we have references to popular Victorian culture, things like the Elephant Man. But what we also get is something tremendously atmospheric and something that actually feels as though it was recorded as an audio off tv tom's performance is beat for beat perfect here on both stories for me for my money these are the best tom baker tales to come out of big finish in some time and i've been desperately enjoying this seasons louise jameson's relationship with tom has matured and developed so that the actors communicate so terribly well and yet they're still definitely channeling their earlier selves it's simply marvelous narrative wise what's the story about i do not want to spoil anything so i will say they're fantastic what can i see it's victorian london there are creatures walking the streets there are body snatches there are ghosts there are spirits talking to children children who are old beyond their years 
there are things beyond space and time. And then there's, of course, African hunters, people from far-off distant lands, hunters, the hunted. And, as I said, it's a six-part story with a dog leg, but what they've done rather cleverly is take the two-parter, which is usually tagged on at the end or the beginning, and placed it in the centre. So you've got your main narrative taking place in London, your second narrative taking place elsewhere i won't spoil that and then we return to london for the final battle being the final part it's awfully well structured the characters never allow the action to slow or stagger or sway and everything is word perfect i cannot emphasize enough how wonderful this story is after you've listened to the first six episodes you think well this second story won't be half as good and boy oh boy are you wrong the Devil's Armada is set in Elizabethan England and has something that I, for one, would simply love to have seen on screen. Tom Baker talking about the devil and Catholic priests. Now, we know that Tom's doctor is a wonderful egalitarian person, but we also know that Tom has issues with the Catholic Church. Again, I refer my learned colleagues back to Tom Baker at 80. Here we get to have a lot of fun in Elizabethan England. There are Catholics being burned and there are witches being found. It's almost as atmospheric as any Doctor Who you care to mention. This particular box set is perhaps the pinnacle of Tom Baker's time at Big Finish. We need more of the same because it's almost but not quite what we used to love and that is what Big Finish do best. I'll play the trailer Recommend that you shell out slightly more than usual for this and then let you listen to the trailer. So until next time, be seeing you. Lavender's black, diddle, diddle, lavender's white. When I am queen, diddle, diddle, who'll be my knight? Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Doctor Who. Philip Hinchcliffe presents The Ghosts of Gralstead. Dr. McDivitt's exhibition of living wonders and curiosities. Oh. Is that something a lady should understand? It's a display of unfortunate physical specimens, otherwise known as a freak show. My gift, gentlemen, it doesn't just heal. It protects as well. Those men who are hunting you, who are they? <laughs> On the top floor, a shadow drinking in the light. I am monstrous! My shape will not settle! Am I trapped here forever? Why do you want the corona? This is the night the Grousted Ghost walks again. Where, Clemmy? Where is your ghost? Clemmy! What are you? <laughs> are you afraid? Will you struggle? Go on, put up a fight. Get away from me! Edward shall trample you underfoot. Let me see. You ought to stay here. Yes, but I... That aspidistra has a lean and hungry look. I like it not. Such aspidistras are dangerous, so don't let it out of your sight. The Devil's Armada. These are dark days. They say the world is out of joint. The stars are full of portents, and the roads are full of spies. Imps and devils wait at every turn. Mm. My men will search every crack in this house. Any Catholic priest they pull from your walls will face the rope. Can you feel the air? It has gone warm. It's fear. Something is watching. <laughs> my head! My head is burning! Ah! A face looked over my shoulder, an ugly face with burnt skin and its eyes were green. Burning with green fire. Surely you saw... This is not your world. Who are you? Let him go, old woman. Now, Leela, there's an alien invasion coming. Big Finish. We love stories. This is my Earth. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Doctor Who and its connected properties are copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. To contact the show, email tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. Hoostrology, a time traveller's almanac, is available through Telos Publishing or Amazon. Visit www.hoostrology.com for further information. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. Mm-hmm.